Hey everyone, <laughs> this is Angelique from Brendan Hearts and I'm here to have a heart to heart with you again. I hope everyone is well and doing the best that they can with everything that's going on. And so one of the things, one of the things I wanted to discuss was this, this, this giving up spirit that a lot of people are currently going through. We know that in every situation, in every person's household, in every person's mind that there is there is this this nagging 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 um spirit that will try to deter you or to tell you man it ain't worth it like give up it's that's it and that's all right i can speak entirely i can speak i can speak as a teacher as a team leader as a person who's in ministry as a person who's also going to school trying to um better a career and in her field and everything else it's just been it's been rough you know and i know that even now there are some persons who are still trying to push through in terms of finding a job there are still people who are leaders in ministry that are absolutely tired with the amount of things that they have to go through um both physically and spiritually you know and there's a lot of things that you know you just don't want to do but you know that it's the call of god for your life and and you said, my, not my will, but your will be done. And then, you know, so many things happened. And even in the process, I don't know if you remember, um, in the story of Gethsemane, when Jesus was on that, when uh, is it Jesus was in the garden of Gethsemane. I hope I pronounced that right. But he was overwhelmed too. Could you imagine the burden of sin that he felt in that moment, right before he was crucified? And it was, he said, take this cup from me. If it, if the B.O. will take this cup from me. But of course we knew that that was not God's will and he had to he had to catch himself quick because he knew at the end of the day that that was a mandate that he had to do for the sake of mankind. And so even after that, even after him feeling that way as a human, he said, not my will, but your will be done. And I believe that's what all of us should be doing at this point, you know, because Jesus, he, he paid the ultimate price. and. I know it's difficult. I know what it's like to want to give up. <laughs> this was, you know, yeah. it has been very difficult and it, it's been overwhelming, overwhelming, but God is still on the throne. And regardless, regardless of what you are going through, know that he would not put more on you than you can bear. Just know that he is still there. He's still in the midst. He still loves you. And if you know it's the will of God for your life, if you know this was something that God called you to do, don't give up. Trust me, you have to go through the process to reach to the promise. God knows all the things that you're going through. Talk to him. I know it's going to be difficult. I Christ's ministry was difficult. When he went out into the garden, not the garden, I'm sorry, into the wilderness right before his ministry and he was fasting, right before he ended his fast was when temptation came and you know he could have given up he could have said you know because i didn't eat i didn't eat and sleep i didn't i didn't get to do anything i didn't get to eat or drink and here's this person trying to come but he used the word of god to deter every negative thought to deter the enemy on what he had to say about him or what he was trying to get him to do as if that he wasn't jesus and he didn't know better. But at the end of the day, we if we believe in what we start, if we believe in what we say we believe in, then we won't give up, especially when it's our calling. And so I'm gonna leave you with about two scriptures um, in regards to not giving up. Because you know the word is sharper than sharper than any two-head edge sword. And you know that the word is what you must stand on, it's the foundation. And you have to believe, you have to believe, you must have that that faith and believe that. You know, what the word says it was, is what stands, right? It's important for us to remember that. And so I will go with James 1 and 12. And it says, Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial. For when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to those who love him. We know this walk with God ain't easy. This narrow pathway ain't easy and sometimes we fall short but if we endure to the end and we stand the test then he said that we will have the crown of life i want that crown 
And then Galatians 6 and 9 says, let us not become weary in doing good, but at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Trust me, you are right there. Don't give up. So let's pray. Most gracious and everlasting Father, we honor you, we worship you, for this is the day that you have made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Father, we stand on your word, we believe in your word, and we know that you are a sustainer and a keeper and a comforter, and you are also our friend. We know we can come to you and express our feelings, oh God. But Father, we thank you right now that we can stand on your word and believe, dear God, that we will endure it to the end, dear God. We believe, dear God, that in the proper time, we will reap a harvest, dear God, if we do not give up. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you, dear God, for giving us the strength to overcome every adversity that we are currently facing in our lives, dear God. We thank you for giving us the hope, dear God, that we don't have to worry because at the end of the day, you are a keeper. You are a sustainer. And you are once again our friend. We honor you, oh God. We worship you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a blessed, a blessed, blessed week. And remember, don't give up.